we are going proper traveling for the first time and we're going to Southeast Asia. This is going to be everything that we are taking on our travels because I watched so many of these what I'm packing videos and I wanted to see if I could make a good one. Uh, jury's out. I don't know. I'm going to show mine and then Michael's going to show his. Cool she's on. Michael is on the bed because he didn't want to go first. This is very weird talking to a camera. Michael, would you be able to sit there so I can talk to you instead? This is everything I'm wearing on the plane. A uh, thick pair of socks because it gets cold. A pair of black leggings. A uh, long sleeve top. It's like a thing to go around your neck that like gives you like a little bit more warmth. And a handkerchief. And one black hoodie. That is my only cozy thing that I'm taking. And my minimalist shoes which are going to be good for hiking and just walking around everywhere. They fold up into like barely anything. This is my day bag. And it's just everything I took out of here that I'm going to be using when I'm going on the train and on the plane to the place. I've got like this padlock which you can tie things to things to prevent people stealing it. I have a water bottle that I'm pretty sure keeps it somewhat insulated. And this is a filtered water bottle so I don't need to buy um, loads of plastic bottles everywhere. I've got Tupperware and I'm going to make loads of food to take on the plane and uh, on the train stuff so I don't want to pay the extortionate prices. This is Tupperware for me and Michael. And there's a spoon in here and then a handkerchief as well. A natural lip balm moisturiser for everything. And my toothbrush, bamboo, biodegradable and my tongue scraper. My bank card which I'm not showing you. A dry bag that just has all of my electronics. My phone. My charger. And an extreme quantity of these cables. Some earphones, spare battery, boring stuff. That is everything in this bag. And now for my actual bag, which is a Osprey 4.40. I've got on this carabina with just my dress on a luggage tag. This is a rain cover, which is super important. And a rain cover for me, a uh, cagoule. It folds up tiny. There's this little pocket here and that's just got a very small fold up like shopping bag that looks like a bird and I think it's cute. And a padlock and chain and another padlock. And uh, this is a rock that I got. I don't believe in like crystals and things but I just think it's cute and it's shiny. And so I take it places and it reminds me of the places I take. <laughs> and there's another compartment which I just have a torch for in hostels so I don't wake everybody up by turning on the light. And just a pen. And this is all my important documents and like a card reader I don't want to lose. And this is my purse which currently doesn't have any cash in it, but it's got like my bank card and I've got various different bank accounts for traveling abroad. And my real card and such, my driver's license, my passport, the notebook that is waterproof, a travel hairbrush. This is like pens and pencils and a thermometer that I needed for reasons. Anyway, main compartment, I have sectioned it off with Packing cube. I've got these crappy sandals that I don't mind chucking if they get wrecked. And I have a good pair of sandals, which are my barefoot zero shoes. And here we've got a sarong, which is beautiful and colourful. And also will be my blanket and my towel for the beach. And just you can put it on your shoulders, you can make it into a skirt. Multi-purpose. This is my bikini which also I think has cool colours. And this is 
a top that you put on when you're going in the sea just so that you don't get sunburnt and means I need to put on less sun cream. Just two pairs of socks, oh no wait, three. This is a laundry bag and I put my synthetic clothing in this when I'm putting it in the wash because it is called a guppy friend and so it prevents all the microfibers from going into the water and into the ocean. My hat. And the sunglasses. Which are uh, UV protected, so I don't hurt my eyes. My next packing cube. Two pairs of these lightweight uh, funky trousers. One blue and one black. I've got a pair of shorts that I use underneath my dress, just to prevent chafing. And three pairs of pants, because I basically don't wear them. And two reusable menstrual pads. And two handkerchiefs. This one has basically nothing in it right now because I'll be wearing all the stuff I'll be packing in it. A really long, flowy, lightweight dress and I'm not unpacking it because then I'd have to roll it up again and I don't want to do that. It's just a plain white shirt and it's more conservative if we need to go to a temple. This is just a black strappy top, really lightweight and this is like my favourite top and it's really colourful and... I just wanted one thing that I could like put on and it would just make me happy to wear it, so. Then there's this zip pocket, which currently everything's a mess because I've separated things so there's only liquids in here, but usually I'd have that on this bag. Toiletries. Two natural toothpastes under 100 mil. Because I don't like using crappy chemicals and garbage that is not good for you. This is antiseptic cream for my first aid kit, just in case. This is Tiger Balm, which I've not tried before, but apparently is good on bug bites. B12, because I'm a vegan and this is necessary. Some natural bug spray, which doesn't harm the environment or insects or you by using it. And this is just a good clear bag because you can use it to go for uh, security. This is just the rest of the stuff that was in that pocket and that is a first aid kit. Literally all that is in this is a couple of alcohol wipes and some plasters. If I get seriously ill I'm fucked but I'm just gonna hope I don't get ill. Okay I have another dry bag and I'm thinking say I want to go in the sea and there's no one to guard my phone or my cards. I'm just gonna put them in multiple dry bags and then like zip it up like this and I've got a cord so I can put that over my shoulder and keep an eye on my stuff. My moon cup because it's so much better for you and the planet and your body and it's reusable and you don't need to take a million like period products. Hair bubbles. A uh, disposable hairnet that I was given and I'm just going to put it over my hiking shoes when I put them in my bag so that I don't get my bag all dirty. This Alice in Wonderland tin has got ah, my shampoo bar, which is natural. <clears throat> and I'm going to use this to clean my body, to clean my hair, and to clean my clothing as well. Because I don't want to carry around loads and loads of things when you can just use one. I like this bag because it's really comfy and it like fits you here and it fits you here. I would recommend it. Okay, I'm done. That is everything I'm packing. Greetings, fellow humans. This is what's in my bag. So I have a filter water bottle so I can drink tap water. And this insulated cover for it, which I'm not sure if I'm going to bother taking. And a spare pair of glasses. And here I have some more glasses and some sunglasses. A razor, which I will probably forget to use. So, and here I have a bag with lots of sun cream, some super glue in case my sandals break again, a mosquito net, which I'm not sure if I will need but I would rather have it. My sandals for packing cubes. In here I have a very large sink plug so we can wash our clothes. An eye mask 
and some earplugs, a shopping bag that falls into a very small bag so we can avoid using plastic bags, a microfiber towel, a sleeping bag liner in case anywhere I sleep is disgusting, a waterproof jacket, some soap nuts for doing our washing. In this packing cube, three pairs of boxes because I can't sleep naked in the hostel. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, three pairs of socks and some trunks and a t-shirt that Shelley persuaded me to bring to wear in the sea so I don't get sunburned, but I might not wear it. In this packing cube I have just all my like tech stuff, a waterproof pouch that goes around your neck if you need to put your phone in it or something when you're swimming, a wallet with my spare bank cards in, a camera, cool universal adapter with loads of USB ports, a spare SD card for the camera and a head torch to use in hostels so I don't have to put the light on. I have a little magnifying glass so I can look at insects because insects are cool. <laughs> Just a little pouch full of batteries for the head torch, chargers, and some spare earphones. This is a little washing line so we can hang up our stuff that we've washed in the sink. Then I have a dry bag and inside the dry bag a power bank and my Kindle. And in the last packing cube I have a pair of shorts and a shirt and a t-shirt. And then in here I have my jumper for if I'm somewhere that's not hot. So that's everything that I've got in there and then I just have the things which I'm going to wear. I travel there. Slightly broken shoes. Slightly. <laughs> my t-shirt and trousers. And I'm gonna put my toothbrush in that. And my phone. <laughs> okay, that's it done. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye! <laughs> okay. <laughs>